And we're going uh, live now. It's um, my pleasure and privilege this evening uh, to be your host. It's Bob Spiro here, Cryptopreneurs for MLM Pros. I'm doing a full reveal, and uh, we've got a PowerPoint presentation. I'm here with one of my citizens, Nelson Davis. Want to say hi, Nelly, before we get started? Then I'll uh, go on to screen share. Yeah, I just want to say um, God is good. Um, how's everybody doing? And yes, this is uh, Citizen Nelly out of Connecticut. And uh, I just want to say hi. Okay, okay, okay. Here's what we're Ready doing. We're just, we're just building teams here. We're helping people out. And uh, this is. You can hear me, right? Now I can. Okie doke. Well, we've got the English presentation for 2020 here. Um, together, as you know, when when the tide's coming in, uh, you got a boat in the water, all the ships go up together. So we're going to have a discussion tonight uh, about cryptocurrency and blockchain and how it can affect you and uh, what um, what is it and how you can participate. Um, for those that aren't in the know, uh, cryptocurrency is pretty much a digital currency used to complete financial transactions using blockchain technology. It uh, provides high security and it can't be counterfeited. It's a, it's a means of storing uh, value digitally and it doesn't require the need of a centralized uh, authority like a bank uh, to use this currency. The first cryptocurrency to implement blockchain technology and the most famous is Bitcoin. Everybody knows about Bitcoin or has heard about it. You see, it's an essential to understand the technology when participating in cryptocurrencies as there are so many of them emerging today. So first we're gonna talk a little bit about what blockchain is. Pretty much it's a decentralized legend and it's open to anybody that uh, um, is on the, uh, the platform. As the word says, it's a chain of blocks linked together. Each block contains information of transactions dealing uh, with who was participating in the transaction, the time, date, and amount transferred. And finally, each block scores a unique code, which is called a hashtag, uh, to distinguish them from other blocks. So if I had uh, to send money from me to Nelly, um, and I'm going to transfer those funds using blockchain technology. What happens is the nodes confirm this transaction. They verify on the ledger that the funds were sent from me to Nelly. And then once that's verified, uh, that is given a hash and then add, added to the blockchain. So how do you obtain cryptocurrency? Well, you can purchase BTC or BTCV from a crypto exchange. There's uh, dozens of them available today, maybe hundreds of them. You can use one of the many cryptocurrency exchanges operating in and around the world to purchase your cryptocurrency. You can create a digital account uh, after choosing a market and deposit funds to purchase the currency. Purchasing from an exchange gives the user a set amount only. There is no opportunity to create additional value. I store some cryptos in wallets and they appreciate based upon market demand. So you you put in one Bitcoin into your um, Bitcoin wallet, even a year from now, you'll still have one Bitcoin. Now the value of that one Bitcoin could go up or down uh, as we expect it's going to go up as uh, it's on an upward trend now. But by holding and storing cryptocurrencies in a wallet, it doesn't afford you any opportunity to multiply cryptocurrencies. However, you could also participate in the mining process and uh, be having daily mining income. The business we're in is making electronic digital currency. 
participate in the mining processes of BTC or BTCV, which I'll explain in a moment, as a node or a miner, and obtain the block reward when you add the block to the blockchain. Participating in mining gives the user the opportunity to increase the amount of coins one could hold and potentially um, have for additional value. So let's talk about what mining is. Well, what is mining? The miners possess the approval of transactions. Uh, they process the approval of transactions to connect to the block, uh, to the blockchain. Once a block is approved, it is added to the blockchain. And uh, that's done every 6.25 BTC. A block is approved and added to the blockchain when miners confirm the transaction and solve the complex mathematical problem. The first miner to solve this and add the block to the chain is given the block reward. BTC or BTCV, depending on blockchain transactions, are being approved. When one block is connected to the blockchain, it is stored on the decentralized ledger and the miners begin to process the transaction on the next block to obtain the block reward. That's a pretty amazing process. So what is mining? Some of the factors in mining are the difficulty of the problems. As more nodes or miners participate in mining, the difficulty to solve the block or obtain the reward is adjusted. And uh, let's see, mining pool. Okay, miners combine together to form a pool to complete more effectively and increase their chances um, to receive the block reward. And hash rate is a hash is the mathematical problem the nodes need to solve. Hash rate is the number of guesses your miner can make per second. Block reward is the number of BTC or BTCV generated when a miner finds the solution. BTC is halved every 210,000 blocks, currently 6.25 BTC every 10 minutes when halved. Miner's power consumption. The higher the power consumption of the miner, the more is required to be paid in electricity costs. That's uh, a loss of profit. And the, <laughs> the pool fees, the percentage of earnings taken for the service of using the mining pool. And the Bitcoin price, the mined Bitcoin uh, converted to any other currency will show profitability. TXID is a unique transaction ID generated to view completed transactions. Specifies the wallet address of the sender and receiver, uh, the amount transferred, the date, time, and the fee that was paid. Sometimes that's called the gas fee. That's pretty interesting. Reasons for increasing or decreasing the mining difficulty? Well, if you have more miners who are participating in mining, they're competing for the same pie, the same amount of Bitcoin or Bitcoin vault that's being produced on a, uh, a, um, a per block basis. And if you have more miners, what you gotta do is make it fair by having uh, increasing the difficulty so it can be competitive and solved within about 10 minutes. It's more, it's more likely to create the block faster. Therefore, to maintain an average of 10 minutes per block, the difficulty to solve the mathematical problem is increased or decreased accordingly, uh, depending on the number of miners who participate in the network. So, first emerged um, Bitcoin. It uh, occurred by a programmer or a, a subtype programmer who uh, is by the name of Satoshi Nakamoto. And it occurred on the 1st of November in a white paper, 2008, following the Lehman Brothers crash on the open market, where he supplied this as a better form of currency. You know how the market crashed 
everybody lost a, a good chunk of money and a lot of people went bankrupt and were, were having uh, issues with money. So he proposed a new type of currency called Bitcoin, where in fiat currency, which is money like we know it today, it's issued by certain institutions like banks and governments. globe, but it can take days and it can cost a lot of money. Now, the advantages of using cryptocurrency is anybody can participate as a miner or as an owner and use the, use the, uh, the crypto yourself. You don't need a bank or authority um, to do so. Uh, it's a distributed ledger. The transaction history and balances can be viewed by anyone on the network, although they're all in code and they know your name isn't there. And it's extremely difficult for a lay person to just go up to the blockchain and extract your information. However, the dollar compared to uh, fiat currency for crypto, which is why it's so popular. And then transactions processed, you know, once the block is added to the blockchain, it's about 10 minutes to send money, maybe an hour at tops to send money around the globe. It doesn't matter if you're in Brazil, Argentina, Peru, Georgia, Atlanta, LA, just a matter of minutes you can um, process a transaction. You don't need permission or the power of you know, a bank in authority. So there's also uh, in Bitcoin, there's a scarcity. There's only 21 million coins in total with the last coin expected to be mined in 20, uh, 2140. As there is a set total of coins to be mined, the value and demand is expected to grow as more people utilize it. And this also prevents inflation uh, as no more coins can be issued. Take this into consideration, guys, as there's more and more dollars being printed and put into circulation as how that affects the buying power of our fiat currency at the supermarket or paying bills for gas and electricity or um, education or transportation. With decentralization, the distributed ledger is decentralized. Anybody who participates can view and be part of approving all of the transactions, not like a centralized system, such as banks where the ledger is private and controlled by the institution only. Value increases as block reward is half. So Bitcoin's block reward is halved every 210,000 blocks, approximately every four years. Past records show that after the block reward is halved, the value of Bitcoin has increased. So what's the potential of Bitcoin? Well, the total amount of Bitcoin is 21 million, with the last coin expected to be mined in 2140. Every 210,000 blocks, that's approximately every four years, the block reward is halved, so the miners get less of a reward. They're slowing down the entry of, uh, of the Bitcoin. About 18 million of the Bitcoins have already, of the 21 million, been mined. So most of it's already in circulation. Currently, 6.25 Bitcoins are mined per 10 minutes, with the next half period expected in 2024. We just had one in May, as a matter of fact. And currently, the block reward is 6.25 Bitcoin every 10 minutes. That's pretty incredible. And this shows in the history from 2012 to 2021, after having what happens is it retreats, retracts, and then it resumes its, uh, its growth pattern uh, as the supply is diminishing 
And the more people use it, demand goes up, so it increases the value of the asset because they can't keep printing or making more Bitcoin, diluting its value. Um, there's no limit to what the expectation of the coin's value could be. We've seen a lot of um, six-figure project, you know, experts projecting six figures for Bitcoin. Um, now we'll talk a little bit about Bitcoin Vault. Uh, the current status of Bitcoin, since, since uh, a large portion of Bitcoin has been mined, over 18 million of them, uh, leaving less than 3 million to be mined, it's an irreversible transaction. So whether I sent the Bitcoin to the right person or I sent the right amount, once I've sent it, the transaction is irreversible. And then also, currently, 61% of the Bitcoin in circulation is held by, look at this, Nelson, less than 0.06% of Bitcoin wallets. So you got a, a small chunk of people who are holding a whole lot of Bitcoin. Isn't that incredible? Now, yeah, it the, is. the advantage of Bitcoin Vault is, right, we're producing it. It's only been around for six months and it's getting evenly distributed amongst all of the miners and the participants in the mining through our company. So everybody's got a chance of getting a good chunk of Bitcoin Vault. That's pretty interesting. So what is Bitcoin Vault? Here's how it will alleviate the anxiety. A lot of people, I think, Nelson, don't get involved with Bitcoin today because, well, they don't understand it. They haven't had a presentation like this. But the thing is, it's got that fear factor that if they use it, I'm going to lose my money because it's irreversible. Well, what we have is a three-key system with Bitcoin Vault. Maybe you haven't even understood this yet, but this is powerful. This is a major advantage. It's got a private key, so transactions can't be viewed by anybody else except the uh, person who holds the key. The second is it has a transaction cancellation key for theft protection. So if I get a bad feeling about sending it to you or I change my mind or I want to get my money back, there's a transaction cancellation provision in Bitcoin Vault. And I can also have a fast 10 minute, you know, increase the speed, getting it done almost immediately. So those are major advantages uh, of Bitcoin Vault. It's also a major storage of electronic value. It's not a hard fork of Bitcoin. It has currently a block reward of 150 BTCV every 10 minutes. So it's more popular to mine, it's more lucrative to mine is to mine. And uh, the four coins, Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV, still only have a block reward of 6.25. So Bitcoin Vault is catching up to blockchain. I mean, it, to Bitcoin, um, if you can understand what, what's going on here. The forked extra coins, Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV are still produced at the rate of Bitcoin very slow, while we're producing at a faster rate. And we have a coin that has more value. That, that's why the, the price of the coin is going through the roof. So what's the predict, pred, uh, the potential of Bitcoin um, Vault, BTCV? Bitcoin Vault is mined under the same HSH, ASIC chip and using the same algorithm as BTC. Uh, and I have a clue exactly. I'm not a programmer. I don't know exactly what that is, but it's either using the same code. This has the potential for current Bitcoin miners to switch to mining Bitcoin vault. That makes it easy. So an increase in the mining network, which could lead to the value of the coin to increase. Also, both coins use proof of work to confirm transactions and create a real ecosystem as the mine coins are converted to pay for infrastructure and the maintenance of the mining funds. I got a couple of videos and some pictures of the facilities that are located in several countries, but we own mining funds with all these miners are using the equipment and producing money. Our product is money. It's a good business to be in if you want to make money. 
Um, we make money. That's our business. So this describes the hashing power and the having power of Bitcoin and the mine farms. I won't go into detail uh, in this presentation, but this PowerPoint is available to anyone that's watching it uh, on our team site, which I'll share with you how to access it. But you got fair distribution here, folks, as BTCV was not pre-mined. The block rewards from the first block have been distributed fairly to all the miners. This provides confidence that the coin value cannot be manipulated with large institutional investors. A large amount of BTC can be sold and the price of the coin can be affected. That's because so many people, a few people hold a lot of it and that'll never happen with what's going on here with BTCV. You've got high block reward, currently 150 BTCV instead of 6.5 for Bitcoin. So they're producing it faster. So obviously the miners are gonna to wanna to mine this coin. Uh, miners who participate at the early stages of mining can expect high mining rewards. And the reduction of BTCV is set to match BTC block reward in 2024 as shown in the table and will follow the halving schedule of BTC from this point on. So we're coming into the game and we're in early adaption. That's where we're at now, Nelson. Probably the first six months of the year. Early bird catches the worm. This is what the first half of the year 2000 and then the second half of 2000 will be caught up with mining the BTCV and coin distribution, and then we'll participate in the global adaption of the coin as they, I heard a, a presentation of what the strategy is uh, to get it finally listed on the major exchange. They got a half a dozen exchanges listed on now, but like I say, we're right here in, in the adaption of this new product to the marketplace. And it's, you know, the coin started at, a dollar and it's trading in at almost four hundred dollars right now, three hundred and seventy, three hundred and eighty. So and it's only July. So who knows where it's gonna be a year from now, Nelson. You know what I mean? It's it's pretty incredible. So this is a uh, potential of BTCV. There's no direct correlation between hash rate and price, but as seen below, there's is generally a larger market cap in relation to the larger hash rate, resulting in a higher price for the coin. Now, Bitcoin network hash rates 115. Market cap in billions is 1.32. This was months ago, price 7,200, three or four months ago, maybe five months ago. Block reward was 12 and a half, it's now six and a half. This was before May, before it halved, and the market cap price 0.0183. Um, so I can't take your call right now. We've got Bitcoin Cash and uh, Bitcoin SV have a lower hash rate than Bitcoin Vault. In other words, we're making more of the Bitcoin Vault coin uh, per second than these particular coins. Our price, this was when Bitcoin Vault was $64 probably in May or no, excuse me, in March or April, Nelson, mm -hmm. it's 364. We've got to update these slides. I'm sure they will be, but that's the power of what's going on here. That's a and huge hike. It, it's, and, and it's just a short period of time. It, that's mm -hmm. incredible. So uh, I just want you to, okay, this is uh, data from April uh, 20th, uh, 2020. So it's a few months back. So it's kind of 300 bucks in the last three months. I wish we I wish you could you always say, I wish I got started earlier in Bitcoin, <laughs> right? But here's the opportunity for people now for a new coin to get started. Well, it's still affordable. It's not nine or ten thousand dollars, it's a few hundred bucks. So you buy part of a coin, you get involved with wh wherever you can get started, and then you share, um, form strategic partnerships and build, uh, build a an empire here and become wealthy for you or your family. There's no reason why you shouldn't. Take a peek. This is what a mining city looks like, Nelson. They've got all these locations where all the computers hang out and all the miners go and work to solve the problems. Now, mining city is the marketing arm for Mine Best. Mining City is a global company which rents out hash power to mine 
uh, to mine cryptocurrencies. Over 300,000 customers have already trusted Mining City to unite the strength and increase the chance to strike their digital gold. MineBest provides the mining power, takes care of the technology and maintenance, while the Mining City ca uh, community reaps the war rewards. Isn't that pretty cool? Check this out. That's pretty impressive. Look at all these people. Look at how big these facilities are, where all the computers wow. are kept, where they make the money, mm -hmm. okay? We expedite mining in a business-to-business -business model. The income is split accordingly. Mining City gets 35% for commissions, 2% for salaries. Mine best the hosting of the, the farm. They get 6% for the mining farms. The miners get 24%, 3% for shipping and taxes, 20% for pre-mining and company profits. So we all split the pie here. It's pretty cool. You don't have to be uh, an expert to participate. Mining expertise is what we have at MineBest. It's a technology advanced infrastructure company that specializes in cryptographic computing activities. It is one of the most dynamic growing companies in the cryptocurrency mining industry and has been in the mining and cryptocurrency field since 2017. <clears throat> already done a billion dollars in sales folks and these guys know what they're doing stability of the mining farm mine best holds multiple cryptocurrency mining farms in kazakhstan with a 20 megawatt 20 megawatt and 50 megawatt all at full capacity also in kazakhstan my mine best have a 20 and 150 megawatt facilities under construction, as well as a 100 megawatt data center in China under construction, 50 megawatt currently operational, and they have operations in Poland as well, all expected to be ready uh, second half of uh, 2020, which is you know currently right now. So we provide technology to the community and know-how to Mining City. Mine best unique smart mining and presumptive response to market changes allows the mining city community to reap the benefits of the highest level of mining services in today's market. With excellent equipment efficiency and maintenance procedures, the company boasts the highest profitability and uh, with the mining with low expenses. So we've got a, an agreement with the government to reduce taxation, thereby these rivers where they get a very cheap and expensive hydroelectric power and the company is uh, extremely profitable. So we've got strategic partnerships with stable energy supply, guaranteed approved mining facilities, stable reliable power source, Mine best box manufactured by Mine best the cooling system is activated automatically so it operates without the need for a separate air conditioning system. This equates to high energy efficiency and low electricity costs. And we're completely transparent. Mine City offers plans which allow individuals to rent out hash power for a period of 1100 days and daily mining can be calculated using the daily mining formula as well as the electricity per days provided. So we put it in a package. Here's the machine we use, the MS-230. you blocks of these that they invest in. When we invest in our packages, they invest in infrastructure, increase it, and then increase the capacity. And we all just split the profits based upon the formula I shared with you just recently. Benefits of low power consumption, it, the daily mining income increases as electricity expenses are reduced. Low power consumption increases the life expectancy of each of the mining. These, these are miners, okay? They're machines, okay? You feed them electricity, keep them cool, and they compute automatically once they're programmed, okay? Uses the same logarithm for BTC and BTCV, and uh, you got an inexpensive um, uh, consumption of power. So mine BTC or BTCV with Mining City. You sign up for free. You purchase a mining plan, 10 days later you begin mining. And I can share with you as uh, I will 
after with the screenshot to show you what's been going on in my account. It's absolutely nuts. I love it. It's incredible. So here's the marketing plan. We're just going to go over this real quick and not in a lot of detail. There's a lot of different things going on here. There's a, a binary tree bonus that's available. There's a binary matching bonus on your enrollments. There's a plan bonus. There's a repurchase bonus and a residual bonus. But as far as repurchase is concerned, we recommend putting it on zero. Withdraw your money, put it into a wallet, and with repurchase additional packages uh, or bank what you take out. That's your choice, but don't use the automated repurchase uh, feature. Just make sure you set that up right when you get started. And then there's residual bonuses from the ongoing growth um, of the team. So how to participate? We've got a primary plan, which is a $300 startup for 1100 days of these, are, we're gonna talk about Bitcoin Vault. The primary plan is once again, $300. Uh, you get three terahash per second. Standard plan is 600 and you become a, a citizen at six terahash a second. A bronze, I bought both a standard and a bronze. I'll show you in the back office. It's uh, 12 terahash per second. Silver is 2,400, 24 terahash per second. Gold is 4,200, 42 terahash per second. And platinum at 12,600 with uh, 12, um, excuse me, yeah, 12,000 terahash as about 130 terahash per second. So here's how citizens rank. A resident gets started for 300, you got a 5.5 uh, points in the binary bonus, and uh, you purchase one primary plan. Citizens, person gets started for 600, you get one point in the, in the, the binary pool. Uh, your number of, if you don't require any responses there, it's $600, you purchase one standard plan or higher. A city builder, um, you pick purchases $600 package, you got one point in the binary, and you sponsor five citizens. So we all start either as a resident or a citizen, and you can wait if you have to, or you just get started as a citizen. Then you find five citizens and you become a city builder. The city developer has uh, sponsored five people. Oh, by the way, a city builder does 12,000 on his team and sponsor five citizens. A city developer, $600. Once again, one point in the binary. You have to sponsor five people and you got 60,000 and you'll need three city builders. So it just continues down here to a governor and uh, it's just pretty incredible. We've got a comp plan that goes to 100 million, Nelson. 100 million, have you ever seen one like this? Forever, that's incredible. Okay, and these, these positions over time, we're just getting started will be filled by the leaders. So you got a team tree, there's, there's, there's two dynamics here, there's a, uh, a unit level as well as a, a binary that are being built. I don't expect everybody to understand it completely, just understand one thing, you buy hashing power, it's not an investment, you're buying a mining package. We do all the work and uh, BTCV or Bitcoin, but the preference is you make more money and you get paid more. So we're, we're promoting and suggesting people participate in BTCV. Um, your team tree can uh, consist of the members that you refer and those members which have been referred by members of your team tree. In order to be added to your team tree, members must have purchased a mining plan. And it's free to sign up. You get as many people to sign up and then you educate and train those that are willing and get them to upgrade and then help and work out with those leaders. Your first level on your team tree consists of the members directly referred by you the second level of your team tree consists of members referred by your first members and so on. And there's no limit to the number of levels that can exist in your team tree or um, how many people you can enroll. So you've got team A, which is comprised of your first five leaders. And then you've got from six to infinity, your team B. All right, we'll have a, a plan training eventually. This is just an overview. 
And then you've got a binary tree. It's a two-leg tree where each person has a left and a right. You just need to put somebody on the left and somebody on the right and accumulate five points. And then you can get a $200 um, binary bonus. And you can cycle numerous times in the binary on a daily basis. There's a lot of money on the table here. When you understand the power of this compensation plan, I won't belabor it by going into tremendous detail, but there's a binary tree bonus. It's $200 per cycle. You can cycle, as I mentioned, multiple times in a day as more and more people um, are joining your team. See, as a resident, you can cycle once, citizen, four times a day, five times a day. These are $200 pops, guys, six times a day, all the way up to 14 times a day. That's $2,800 a day as a governor, but you've got a huge team and you've helped a lot of people make a lot of money with this. You've also got a binary matching bonus. So um, you help people get started, you help them develop them, and you'll get a percentage of their commissions through a binary matching bonus. Uh, a resident up to first level, citizen up to second level, city builder up to fourth level. So let's just focus on the beginning here. We all start as residents or citizens, and then we'll help our five citizens and become a city builder. So um, that's the way to do it. C city uh, builder, uh, city citizen. Okay, this is just explaining in greater detail how the cycle bonus uh, works. And I am new, so I am just learning by going through the cycle bonuses. There's enormous amount of compensation plan that's available uh, in this plan. And you'll see that uh, commissions in the purchase of your team tree. You've got an A and a B structure. And then, obviously, as we, we shared uh, with you before, a repurchase bonus. And then there's a residual bonus from the repurchases made by, by the team. So, And then the number of generations you're paid in the comp plan based upon your level in the comp plan. So together, we all grow in this opportunity. Joe, welcome to the presentation. It's so nice to have you aboard this evening. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this presentation. What I'm going to do now is log into my Mining City back office and verify some proof progress and results and uh, show you why we do all this. If you're uh, in the U.S. here, one thing you'll have to do is get a, uh, a VPN I use the anonymous on my Chrome browser. And we can show you how to do that. So I go over here to my. What was that? Can you hear me now? Uh, yes, I can. Okay, I was just showing you this picture. This is Mining City. This mm -hmm. is in Kaz Kazakhstan, and it had that nice sailboat picture there. So nice. what I'm gonna do is log in. Let me just refresh my browser. Here we go. I love logging into Mining City. You know why? Every day when you log back into your um, back office, mm -hmm. there's more money. Nice. Yeah, here's the hundred percent. All I got to do is I want to withdraw it, and where do I want which wallet I want to withdraw it to? And then I press another button and I can either hold it there or I can change it to BTC, my choice. It's what it is. It's one of many money machines. So here's um, 
my citizens list. These are the people who had selected me as a referrer. There's one, two, three, four. There's Nelly. Nelly, you made it. You're active. Here it is. Yeah. All right. So God yeah. bless you. I got I got a couple active citizens here. As more and more people realize the power of what's going on here, uh, and, Nell, and Tim would be upgrading. And uh, let's see, Stephanie. Uh, I guess she had to go, but she upgraded. Uh, you got to be part of my core community here where we help each other. And as I enroll people, we'll help stack them on my leaders' teams to get the binary points. So this is page two. Uh, this is my third enroll. I've got three citizens. So isn't that cool? Now, what's nice is I can look here in my wallet. My Bitcoin vault wallet. And okay, some more money came in. These are my purchases. Please mute out yourself if you got background noise. Yeah, I see. So I purchased the six hundred dollar plan initially. And uh, then I position myself with a uh, with a twelve hundred dollar plan. So I, I was going to share in the wallet here, the Bitcoin vault wallet. Check this out. What? And we only started this like 10 days ago. So, I mean, I've already got $135 in here, 0. 0.35 or 3.47 uh, BTCV. Today, income from mining plan was $8.02 and $4.01. Guess what? That comes in like clockwork every day. That's $12. That's $12 a day for 1100 days. Think about it. Eighteen hundred dollars, eleven hundred, twelve dollars a day for eleven hundred days. We well, can't make any income claims or promises. This is what this income-producing uh, asset is paying me. Here's from sharing my first two signups. You get a, a an override commission. It was there's eight bucks, a little less. The hashing rate is the same, but the number of participants varies. So some days. Your share will pay a little more. Some days it'll pay a little less. If it pays you the same every day, it's a scam. It's fixed. It ain't going to go on forever. This is real, and it's verifiable, and it's uh, transparent. So here's a yesterday's pay, the day before's pay, the day before's I mean, here it is, guys. It's real. How would you like to have a money machine? This was when I only had one pack coming in. One pack coming in. You just put 600 bucks on the line, whether it took you a day, a week, or a month to get that 600 bucks. Right now, for 1,100 days, I get $4 a day, plus or minus. It could be a lot more, could be less. But $4,400, how much did it cost? 600 bucks. Now, a lot of people paid a lottery, which is just a waste of money, and uh, that's a crapshoot. I'm betting on the growth of this coin and this company, and I'll be paid for years on these contracts. And that's how you multiply money. And then what you do is you tell other people and you build the interest binary and you have a daily cash generating machine. So what I've got now is a brand new, this is, by the way, a part of a training that you guys didn't have a, a clue I was going to be able to do today. But let's see. When people join your team, they're put in a pool. Nelly just signed up. Congratulations as being my most recent citizen and leader, one of my inner core five. 
I'm going to add you to the binary, bud, and you'll get spilled over. You'll have three or four more members before you know it, and then we'll start working on your personals because that's how we do it. And uh, <coughs> welcome aboard. Nice. Here's, my, here's my other leg. I got one guy over here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guys. Guys, this thing is going to grow like you read about to the moon. Now, what's nice is you're going to want to join uh, and get become a paid member so I get added to the Crypto Wealth Club with a seven, well, Aries is an eight-figure income earner. He does training tomorrow and a presentation on Monday morning. He'll go over this in greater detail. He's an expert and a multimillionaire. So we add you to the Crypto Wealth Club for training. But in the meantime, you're going to want to join my crypto Entrepreneurs for MLM pros. Everyone that's on this Zoom is invited. Well, I do my private coaching, training, and mentoring right here. And um, what we got is a huge opportunity uh, to market this uh, this coin. What I'm going to talk about that. We've got the Crypto Wealth Club, and uh, this was the Mining City presentation. What I've got here is a random number generator. I believe it's you and Joe on the line here today. Is Joe still here? Joe, are you still here? Can you mute off the line? And uh, I'm going to try to do this as fair as possible. But what I've got is $25 for one of you two guys for hanging out with me tonight. I can send it to you by PayPal. I can send it to you by uh, cash check. I can send it to you in a Bitcoin wallet, which is what I would prefer to do. Um, Joe, can you come off a of mute and select the number one or two? Can you hear me? Oh, you got to be present to win. Uh, oh, hold, hold on. Why don't I unmute you? Are you there, Joe? Looks like he's still muted. I know. I can't unmute him. I don't know why. He may still be here. Hey, Joe, are you with us? I was going to do uh, or shoot my number here. Well... Nelson? Yes, I'm here. Pick a number, one or two. <laughs> one. Nelson's one. Joe is number two. Now, hopefully, Joe, if you win, you're going to have to get unmuted so you can uh, you can provide me with Bitcoin wallet. But let's go over here. Well, I can share my screen. Can you see my screen here now? Mm -hmm. Okay, I've got a random number generator here that uh, I just um, got from Google. So I'm going to hit this button and generate. It's going to say one or two. One is Nelly, two is Joe. Well, Nelson, you're a winner. You get twenty-five dollars. <laughs> you get twenty-five dollars. That's what it is, guys. God nice. bless you. It's America. We get twenty-five dollars <laughs> in cryptocurrency. Joe, thanks so much nice. for hanging out with us. What I suggest is this gets published on the team blog. You know where that is, Nell, Joe. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an honor and privilege to have you on the uh, the hangout tonight. Get started with us. If you have any questions, give me a buzz. Uh, that's the um, end of the, uh, the hangout.